Alrighty guys, lots going on today. As you know, we've been doing some work on the outside with the painting. So we've got the epoxy barrier coat on the whole on both hulls. Um, and both keels are now finished with anti-fouling and ready to chock the boat. But I don't actually want to put any weight on the keels at the moment because the way I've got the boat chocked at the moment has lined up my bulkheads that need to be repaired. So we're working on keels and bulkheads at the moment. Hi, we are Eric and Davy, an adventurous, slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge of restoring a hurricane-damaged catamaran. It isn't easy, but we are seeing progress from all our hard work. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. You must tell yourself, no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, I'm going to make it. Right, so I'll just show you what I've been doing this morning. Now I wasn't filming it too much because it's kind of difficult to film when it's just going to be filming my butt in the air really. But all this area around the keel here that had some slight delamination was ground back, found the good glass, now glassed it all up. I've got about five layers of eight ounce matting in various different orientations. Uh, so it's nice and strong. So that's sitting and curing now. I've also done in the back bilge I've done there. That's an absolute nightmare place to work because you've got to lay on the floor and also working up under the uh, the bed area there. But it's coming along nicely. There's still another couple of jobs to do down in this hollow. We've still got the wall to do there. Haven't got onto that one, but the bedroom's looking fantastic. So that's all coming along nicely. And also Manuel, I've got him over in the port hull. Let's have a little look what he's been up to this morning while he's just dipped outside. So he's doing a touch up repair on what we've already repaired here. So it's making a double sided repair on the wall. Just had a rough layer on it today with a little bit of thickened epoxy and just some patchwork so that this can then be sanded to find the low spots and high spots. Uh, next thing he's going to be doing is working on the bulkhead. So this bulkhead here has split here and here. So to be honest, the way they put it in is kind of cheap and easy. They didn't tab it at all on this side. Um, other side here was tabbed in, but not very well and extremely screamy thin. So I'm going to use maybe a 1708, something a lot thicker. So I'm going to have to rebuild this area basically. To be honest here, this area here is actually a damage that I just found underneath the, uh, the carpet or the wall carpet, if you want to call it that. Um, so this area we have repaired from the outside. Someone had already replaced the balsa, but when they did, they obviously pushed it all the way back in. Um, so I've done a, a secondary repair on their hot patch, if you will, from the outside. So I'm happy from the outside, but here on this area, I definitely want to cut this. I'm going to cut this back. There's some delamination here. So we're going to grind this area nice and flat. We're going to put a nice fillet along here and then some 1708 um, to tab this wall in properly. But before we can do that, we need to support this. So we're going to screw the wall together from the opposite side just to keep it in place. As I said, the alignment is actually good just because of the way that we've got the boat jacked up at the moment. So we're going to do one side at a time and uh, then we'll come and do the other side. So the other side definitely needs it and it was never done. I think it was just siliconed on from this side, which is kind of pathetic for a boat really. All right, guys, let's get cracking. Uh, Manuel's learning the trade here with us. So what we've done, as I explained yesterday actually, about that we were going to re-tab this bulkhead and actually do it stronger than the factory. So as you can see that Manuel's working on now, we've got about three inches, four inches on either side. And we're working our way down. Manuel's working out the air bubbles just with the fingers. It's kind of easier than the roller, to be honest. So we're just going to work this through. So as you see him working his way down there, just all the air bubbles are being removed. Um, we would have liked to have done this in one piece, but we're having to do it in two sections, the upper section here, but we'll overlap that one. So it'll be a nice solid joint, a lot stronger than what came out the factory. It's going on beautifully. Manuel's uh, really learning this trade well. But this wall, how solid is that now compared to what it was when I showed you yesterday? Good morning, guys. Okay, so today's the day. I'm actually going to try and put the boat back on the blocks on the keels so I can adjust the jack stands. Um, we've got pretty much all the structural stuff done inside, i.e. the bulkheads, um, the stringers, all that sort of stuff is now glassed up. So what we're doing right now is going to put the weight slightly back on the keel. It's not too much weight, just slightly. So I've got the blocks in place and the boards in place. Um, I do need, I'm going to so. I'm probably going to put this on a time lapse where I run around. Um, I'm going to adjust the jack stands and everything else, get everything back in place, 
and make it all nice and secure so that we can also get to the spots that we can't we can't get to obviously where the jack stands are at the moment so by moving the placement or the weight of the boat onto the keel slightly we can move the other jack stands as well we've still got the three jack stands i.e the one there and the two at the back they're going to stay in place i'm not going to be moving those they're taking the main weight of the boat it's just the weight of the keels themselves so let's crack on Our boat's been sitting on these dodgy blocks with we had to wrap a um, bed sheet around to uh to keep the sand from falling out the sandbags <sighs> look at this that's how you support a boat i don't think so Right until you meet the other tape. <laughs> Go from the other end, babe. That's why we're taking it off. Yeah. Hey guys! Oh, we're both gonna... speaking at the same time. Would you like to start there? You go for it. Okay guys, so this week things have changed slightly. I feel like I've said that many, many times. Things you. are always <laughs> changing around here, but they've definitely changed a lot here this week. So what did you do, babe? All right guys, so I had a bit of an accident and I've broken my hand, so it's all splinted up. Um, don't need to go into details, but yep, I have a broken hand, so I'm pretty bloody useless. But that's not going to stop us. So no. what we've done is we've put together a team that's going to help us out. We're going to have to seriously crunch the credit card this month, um, but we need to get the boat back in the water. We made a deal with the boatyard. We'd only be taking the space for a certain amount of time and our time's nearly up. So we've got to get back in. So they've all disappeared. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Anyway, so we've got a team of four guys, uh, local Dominicans, professionals that work on boats and they're helping us out. Um, it is for a good price and they are very good workers. They've just done basically day one today and we are See. so happy. Things are progressing really, really quickly, which is fantastic. Um, and without them right now, we just wouldn't be going anywhere for a long time. Yeah. This is going to take months to heal. So. Yeah. And like we said, we have, um, we're coming close to our time on the hard being finished. Um, it is really busy here. So they are hauling boats out left, right and center. Um, so they have already promised our spot to another boat. So we need to get move on. So let's crack on. Let's crack on. We're going to show or, you all the progress, but there's going to be other people doing the grinding. I'm doing supervising <laughs> let's get and some Erica's other, supervising me. Let's get some other people to crack on. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go and have a little look at actually what the progress is and what we're actually working on at the moment. So we've got the two eyebrows here on the ground. So we've been doing a lot of sanding and grinding on these to preparation. There's a couple of small damages. These are parts off of the donor boat that we had. Um, underneath, this is where the boys have been working today. As you can see, Erica and myself, we have actually done the bottom plane. That is now complete. 
Um, we have done two coats of epoxy barrier coat, two coats of hard paint, and three coats of the ablative black on the top. So that is now complete. Uno <laughs> momento. So the boys wanted to keep sanding even though we're filming, so I've had to tell them just to stop for a second. Oh, 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 they're gonna break the table. All right, so what they've been doing, they've been sanding back all of the underside here, ready for the, uh, we're gonna put a coat of epoxy barrier coat all the way up and under the bridge deck. Um, that's basically as epoxy barrier coat is fantastic because it protects the boat and makes it waterproof, but it's also a fantastic primer. Um, and then we'll put the top coat on top of that. So they've been doing all the light sanding in preparation for that. Um, and also on the top side of the boat, I'll take you up there tomorrow. Um, but the other fella up there has been working and grinding the areas along the tow rail, which I hadn't got to. There's some, uh, some epoxy repairs that need to be done. Some of the damages around where the stanchions are and things like that. We'll take you up and show you that progress tomorrow when we start to glass up there. But anyway, guys, do you want to say hi to YouTube? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> All right, you're going to see lots more of these guys anyway. I think they might be a bit shy. <laughs> So we have moved the uh, jack stands as well. So tomorrow we are going to paint under there our different layers and stuff to get that all ready. Okay guys, so good morning. Um, things are going really super fast around here right now. I want to introduce you to JC. He's the contractor looking after our boat. And the way they're going right now, I highly recommend him and his team, okay? If you guys need some work done in Luperon, he's your man, all right? These boys know their trade and they're doing such a good job. Uh, it's unbelievable. I, I really wish we'd actually employed them when we first got here. Uh, we probably would have been back in the water months ago. So using the uh, epoxy resin that we bought here, the boys are now repairing. This is the um, eyebrows. Let me show you here. These are the eyebrows from the donor boat um, that were in better condition than what we had. So we're removing, well, we've removed one, we've got to remove the other. Um, but these guys are now patching up just the small cracks and um, imperfections on the donor boat um, eyebrows. So, happy days guys. We might be able to go on an adventure soon and go scuba diving or something. Okay guys, so coming down. So what we're looking at down here, a um, few of the repairs that we're going on. As we know, the uh, bulkheads are now super solid. We're gonna reinforce the chain plates and going back up. So we've just, there's a lot of new glass that's just gone up in here. Um, it's looking really, really good. And we're gonna reinforce this whole area. This is the strongest part of the yeah. boat. Um, also in the back bedroom. So while they were working from the outside, oh, give me a second while I step across. While they're working from the outside, it was also got very, very thin. So they've, they've put some more glass on the inside here before we start doing fairing filler. Um, there's going to be a lot more glass on the outside, but it's a double-sided repair. So that's what the boys are working on right now. Even though that we had actually strengthened it with glass, it wasn't quite strong enough along the seam here. So that's what they have, they've doubled it up today, which is fantastic. Um, then outside. So outside they've been doing a lot of work on the sugar scoop and on the side, so I'm going to show you that now. It is a little bit windy out here. I've been grinding on there. I've been grinding a lot back here.
They've been doing lots of good work. They've been getting lots of good stuff done. Um, even these bits and pieces, if Davy's hand was uh, in good shape, it still would have taken him a long time to get all this stuff done. So we're very thankful to have these guys working on the boat. Everything happens for a reason, right? So we're still on par to get in the water in maybe two weeks. So keep your fingers crossed. So when Davy went down to Barahona to get the donor boat parts, he was able to get both of the eyebrow pieces off in one piece, which was awesome because that means putting them back on, they'll look nice and beautiful. We said to these guys that they, it doesn't matter if they destroy it, but it was proving really, really difficult to get off. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, so it, it's about 6.20 uh, this morning. Davey's already left to go down to the yard. JC told him yesterday that uh, they wanted to do epoxy nice and early this morning, so before the sun came up, so it didn't go off too soon. So they've headed down to the yard, um, and they're gonna just crack on today, and it's just gonna be another good day. Hopefully they'll get a lot more prep done. Yesterday they were doing a lot of sanding as well of uh, the sides of the boat, so it's starting to come along, and it's super exciting. So it is early, I haven't even had my coffee yet, um, but I am doing some editing stuff and preparing for another awesome day. I uh, just want to do a massive shout out. Thank you so much to all of our new patrons who have jumped on board. And thank you to all of you, our old patrons who have stuck around with us. Uh, we couldn't do this without you. So thank you very, very much. We appreciate it. <clears throat> Why am I out of breath? I just ran down the ladder. Okay, breathe, 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 and then talk to the camera again. <laughs> <laughs> so right, Erica can edit out those bits.